I want to talk to you about the Steelers very briefly because... I mean, already? That's all you care about, huh? It is, it is. It's on it's my like, mind. What's it's... wrong with you guys? Well, your guy, uh, Joe <laughs> Manganiello, who is a lovely person, and not just because he is a big Steelers fan, yeah. but you have sort of married into that world. Yes. And you are such a beautiful woman, and I believe that if anyone... <laughs> If anyone could make Steelers gear look sexy, it would be you. And then I saw this photo and realized that I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're not... <laughs> Dude, I have to be honest with you, you always look very happy. You do not seem to have any joy in your eyes in this photo. I mean, it's like I, the only, like, I would say that it's like the only bad thing like the, that Joe has it's like he doesn't, it's like a defect, I think. It's yeah. like he doesn't understand that Steeler clothes is not like a brand. Yeah, you know? I see, right. It's like he thinks that that's the only thing that is clothes. Like <laughs> he, he doesn't have a t shirt or a shirt or a jacket or socks that say Steeler. He, he, it's like he doesn't understand that that is not clothes. That's like a, like a thing for games yeah. to wear to when you go to the stadium. Yes. He doesn't understand. Doesn't understand. It. He would, in a perfect world, he would be on the red carpet at the Oscars, and they oh. say, "Who are you wearing?" And he'd say, "The Steelers." Yeah, and and me too. <laughs> and you and too. me too. It's like he he like sometimes lay out things, just like look how beautiful that is. It's like I'm like yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And I will say, my wife has made an, uh, the observation as well that black and and gold are not good colors for a lady. It is just. I mean, that doesn't really. I mean, that's not the worst part. That makes yeah. you look like a bumblebee, but. <laughs> The worst part is like it's like it's not every day for God's <laughs> yeah. sake, you yeah. know. It's like every once in a while. It's like <laughs> this, you know. <laughs> uh, it makes I could, sense. I could have worse problems. You than could that. have Don't worse problems. <laughs> well, I want to bring up something that might, to me, maybe is a worse problem because Joe looks like someone who would be a sports fan. He looks yes, like he an is. athlete, but I did not realize this until today that he is still still plays Dungeons and Dragons. That can't be true. <laughs> Yes. He, he does. And he's like, he's obsessed with it. Wow. He has like a lot of figurines. Uh-huh. Um, like he, he has like a dungeon in the house and he has like a lot of figurines. Like a fake dungeon, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, it was like a wine cellar and it was supposed to be the wine cellar. And suddenly with like the months started to happen, it's like, I wish I had brought you a picture. It's like, he has like these gigantic heads of dragons <laughs> hanging from the wall. The, it has like a, like a little village all in the, in the table. Yeah. It's not a wine cellar anymore, it's a dungeon. And yeah. they, it has like gigantic chairs and they love it because they feel like it's like, gets them in the mood, I think. Yeah. And, so guys, he actually has friends over and they yes, come and they yes. go down to the and dungeon. And they stay there forever, I just hear them. <laughs> Uh, I've seen very pretty girls go down there and play too. Oh wow! And yeah. you're, that's you're very forward thinking that you would let that happen. Now I'm thinking, <laughs> now I'm thinking that this might all be some sort of sham. Oh. It's like, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, honey, they're just here for the for the dragons. Um, yeah, the, so girls play it too. But he he loves it and he invites friends and I I love it. I love being part of it by like you know organizing the room, giving him food there, beverages. Gotcha. Yeah. And do you bring uh, down uh, like beverages? that are appropriate to dungeons, or is it just regular beverages? Um, I have never really been like in a dungeon dungeon, so I don't really know what that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I feel like, like Colombian coffee is always appropriate, so I feel yeah. like a thing there that stays hot like for six hours, so I don't have to go up and down. Oh, that's great. Um, and cheese crackers, um, tea. This like, sounds I like mean, a like lovely a dungeon. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, th I mean... I would, I mean, if it's ever free for a weekend, I will Airbnb I mean, no, that dungeon. when you're in yeah. L.A.? Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, when you're in L.A., you're welcome. It's like it happens all the time in my house. <laughs>